In this video, we're going to solve the sorry, the content area cannot be found on your page error in Elementor. I'm going to show you four different ways that you can solve this error. If you get value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe to let me know. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. First, go back to your dashboard. Exit out of here. This can happen when you try to edit a page with Elementor, a post, a template part. So many different ways that can happen. Number one thing you want to check is go to settings and then reading, check to make sure the home page and post page are set to two different pages. If you have a static page selected, if you have your latest post selected, don't worry about it. Click save changes if you make a change, test it again. If that does not solve it, go to permalinks. Don't change anything. Click save changes two times, test it again. If it's not fixed, come back into permalinks, change it to plain. Click save changes two times. If it's not fixed, come back into here. Change it back to what it was. Save changes two times. <laughs> I know it's repetitive, but it's what you gotta do. If that does not work, it's probably a theme or a plugin conflict. Next, go to your themes. Make sure you have an Elementor friendly theme installed. In my case, I have Hello installed, created by Elementor. Doesn't get more friendly than that. If you want to try installing Hello by Elementor to see if their theme is the issue, Go to add theme, type in hello, install it, activate it, see if that solves it. If that does solve it, then there's something in your theme that's a problem. You have to do some research into that theme to see what could be causing it. In my case on this site, the issue was a plugin. I deactivated all my plugins, that fixed the problem. Then I reactivated them one by one and tested it to see which individual plugin was causing the issue. It was this one right here. When I deactivate it, and then I try to open that same template file that we're doing, that we're opening, the header, the Elementor editor now loads just as it should. So in my case, it's a plugin conflict. This plugin either needs an update or I just have to delete it and find an alternative. So that's four different ways you can solve this error in Elementor. If you have value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe to let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.